from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Heather Lee and here are your ABC Action News headlines. The U.S. has passed a grim new milestone in the pandemic. Johns Hopkins University reports over 900,000 people have now died from COVID-19 since the pandemic started in 2020. The U.S. added 100,000 deaths during the last two months as the Omicron variant became dominant. The U.S. is now reporting an average of more than 2,300 COVID-19 deaths every day. It appears we're near the end of the current surge as statewide COVID cases continue to decline. The Florida Department of Health reported more than 131,000 new COVID cases. The positivity rate also continues to fall. At its two locations, Sarasota Memorial Hospital says currently 164 patients are hospitalized with the virus. Doctors there encourage anyone who is not vaccinated to get the shot because a new variant could cause another surge. This is my personal opinion, you know, after Omicron is gone, which will probably be in a, another three, in a, in, let's say in a month, uh, we may probably get a reprieve from for for some time, hopefully for a few months. Uh, maybe something else will happen in in the fall or in the summer. Doctors at Sarasota Memorial say the Omicron variant strained the healthcare system because Omicron spreads easily and many employees called out sick. Today, three Tampa Bay Lightning players are in Las Vegas for today's NHL All-Star Game. It's like a working vacation between the All-Star break and the Olympic break. The Bolts only have five more games this month. The All-Star Games get underway at 3.15 this afternoon. You can watch it on your ABC Action News station. Now let's check in with Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. And there's 80s and sunshine from the last couple of days out of here. Now cloudy with temperatures held into the 60s for a lot of us today. We average 73 this time of year. So from going to record high temperatures back on Thursday, now to below average highs and it looks like we're going to stay here for the next four to five day period. So mostly cloudy to overcast conditions, a slight shower or two passing by that chance pretty low though. We're not looking at widespread green here with future cast, meaning that rain chance isn't going to be as widespread. It was it was what it was last night when you were sleeping as most areas from I four north picked up a little bit of that rain. Your Sunday outlook also looking wet too to start, but as we go into the afternoon, most of this rain shifts to the north as we go later and later in the day. Temperatures tomorrow as well held into the 60s. So a little bit below average for the weekend, Heather. Thanks, Jason. ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device. We'll see you there all morning long.